lot of electronic music. I think it strives to be sort of robotic and futuristic. But I think with us, the way we make music is just about emotion and feeling more than anything else. We've worked in the art community for a long time. You kind of don't really fit in anywhere and you just do what you do. But maybe it's a little weird to a bunch of people. <laughs> I don't think we're particularly avant-garde. I think we do our own thing and that's maybe avant-garde these days. We are recording our new record. A really nice environment to be doing this in. We're close to Woodstock, close to the hippie dream. And you should watch out for ticks. There's a million ticks out here. Be very careful. The biggest influence technology has on our music is just the sounds we use and the places they come from. Some obscure electronic instruments and some not so obscure, but it's all pretty synthetic sounds. We pretty much used whatever instruments we could find. Everyone was so poor for so long, so we would just like borrow things. And Josh always had a job, so he would always get most of the gear. My whole setup is really a outdated technology that nobody ever took to. I use the guitar as a synthesizer. The guitar has special pickups which interpret the pitch that you play and the, the velocity. And so I play samplers and synthesizers through the guitar. And it doesn't work so well. <laughs> But it doesn't work that badly, not as badly as most people think it does. And it leads to unusual sounds and possibilities. I wouldn't consider myself the tech head, really. I try to approach it like a more organic instrument, I guess. Like, I don't really know exactly how to use the things that I have. I never, like, read manuals and stuff like that. I've been playing with these guys for almost 10 years now, so I know a lot of the chords that they hit. I try to harmonizing with the guitar synth and what's happening with Brian. Really, I just try to deliver pleasing melodies. Making music and making visual art, the longer I do it, the more they just become one thing and sort of melt into each other. It was a learning experience, you know, to be able to like start mixing video projection and painting and music all together in one sort of performance. I film all the time when we're on tour, but I never actually did anything with it. The DVD was basically just made while I was trying to figure out how to use it. Again, I didn't read the manual or learn anything. I just like went right into it and just started like turning knobs and adjusting things and seeing what would happen. I think it will get to a point where, where it's like the best of both worlds. Like people will start to learn how to use these programs in a way where they can make more sort of natural or organic sounding music. I think in the beginning the internet really helped when we would book tours and stuff because we would do it, everything ourselves and uh, we would be talking to you know agents all over the world and it was really exciting because you would be getting this email from you know this kid in Croatia. I mean everything is internationalized immediately now. A band can play now in two weeks in New York and somebody will go see it, write about it on the internet and then they can go play in France at a festival and they have an international attention. 
I was warped to 2010 from like 1984, it'd be pretty like on point. The vision of the future that was then is actually pretty accurate, I think. <laughs>